Ready to go. Be up there. We rolling? We are rolling. We're back in Canada. Yeah. Made it across the border with blue. We did, we did. Johnny's been holding down the fort. So here we are. Yeah. Welcome home. We made it Welcome back. To Canada. Thank you. Two brave men in a car. <laughs> Nine hours. Jody, the whole way, just redlining. Survives. Any speeding tickets? We we went through a few obscure towns. We didn't stay on the main road the whole time. Yeah. We even did some almost beaver pumping on the side of the, yeah. the road. Yeah. I'm yeah. not even going to ask about that. <laughs> yeah. We uh, we saw some of French Arm Wrestling King's uh, workout equipment lying on the side of the road. Roadkill. So we yeah. we uh, we were gonna do a couple sets, but skin was falling apart a little too much. Yeah, it looked let's talk crazy. about uh, what just happened on the weekend. <laughs> you mean Thursday, Thursday night? Oh, what? Yeah, okay. This is the. I'm still basking in all my glory. You look like you're basking. Yeah, what a great. You know what? I always talk about how it's you know really cool to lose. It's really cool to win too. You're, but, pre you're, but, pre you're pretty. Uh, that's pretty Whoa. smooth, right? It wasn't that low. That's all camera angles. Well, you're, you guys straight. know that I was like, I, listen, I could have done whatever I wanted with that guy. <laughs> Let's put it out there, okay? And it's, it could have been, it could have been just like that, like that, and like that for three. But you your, know, your legacy might have still been intact, man. You don't want to go there yet. I didn't want to still go there early. Yet. Still early. <laughs> still early. Yeah, I still have a long, way more humor to add to my legacy before it's over. Right. Yeah. Mm. Bottom eight coming up. Bottom eight. Bottom eight. Hey, before we get started any further, thank you, thank you, putting a thousand bucks in for uh, the winner of the bottom eight. So. Dude, it's guys like you who make all this crazy stuff happen. Oh, yeah. So yeah. anytime, pleasure really. to be able to come all this way to finally crush the man that has been doing this for five years. It means the world. So. And we are thrilled to give you that opportunity. You know, there's a lot of people out there. You know, Chris, Chris Gobby, Joel Griffin, whoever you know on the <laughs> internet is bad mouthing you. Just we 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 recognize that um, you know. There's this internet world, and anytime you can pull one of those people into the real world, uh, I just think it's so awesome to see it, right? And so we feel good to provide you with this opportunity. Yeah. It's neat. It's neat. It's going to be good. Like, the, the history there, I don't know what's going to happen. Like, when we get onto that, that stage, I don't know if the real, that man's going to really turn up the way... Which man? <laughs> the, the little one. The little one. Right, because it's a very different person. The guy online is not the guy, like, yeah. it's not the yeah. same thing. Yeah. Do you yeah. expect a King's move to happen in that match? I hope so. We That'll talked about glorious. this today. I, we I, I was this. like, dude, you should only King's move him. <laughs> That's, yeah. You should yeah. only King's move like, the whole time. They're, they're, like, like, I would and love nothing more, because I know how much he hates, like, he, he's, he'll sit there and talk about that only men will come in and... And he would hate so much for me to sit there like that and 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 smile at him whilst he oh, gasses. Oh, so great to see. But to the see. thing is, I I want to win this whole thing. Of as course. Well. Yeah. So I gotta. There's there's satisfaction in just a quick pin as well. I don't know. Well, I didn't he say that there's no way that you can beat him quickly. I did hear that on his. Yeah. What's what's that amazing. Podcast that he runs. I have no idea. That's not that's my podcast. All their all their content comes from me. Yeah, yeah that, they actually don't even exist yet. I don't think. Yeah, I mean they're on but their yeah, way. I heard that he yeah. he says his containment will not be broken in any way. That the only way I can pin him is by outlasting him. So. It's gonna be a good match. It's gonna be a good match. <laughs> No, it's not. <laughs> not gonna, gonna be. Okay, all right. Listen, I think I think that most people kind of know how that one's gonna go. Yeah, it's gonna be exciting. So you're in, you're you're here. You're gonna be touring mm. around for a uh, little bit more than a week until the event. Yeah, yeah. So I yeah, hit up a bunch of local Canadian pullers, see what's going on. Anybody in the area 
uh, my this place is under renovation and everybody's living in the basement so if uh, if you're in the area if you're in the Ottawa region you want to you want to show blue around you want to uh, be in a video yeah be in a video what wait what what are we talking about here <laughs> <laughs> are you really putting it all out there right now oh, whatever man yeah, you're gross. far from home <laughs> Uh, I don't care if you watch my humor. Right, it's yeah. not even funny. It's not yeah. funny. Actually, I'd like to take this opportunity right now um, to I have to apologize to you a little bit, like for calling you. A, you are a ginger, but I, I shouldn't have called you a ginger in a derogatory way. That's all right. And as well as saying that nobody in Australia even arm wrestles or wherever it is you're actually from. Wait. I already know where you're from. I, 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 <laughs> I love that's that's one thing that I I love how much Australia is a little upset about. That no one cares about us yet, but I think it's beautiful. But it'll change. But yeah, you don't need to apologize. To, to be fair, like I knew that you knew it was a joke, yeah. and uh, I did that to get the ire up from your fellow countrymen. <laughs> uh, get people talking about us because they're not going to do it any other way. So yeah, I'm excited about a match coming up that's Australian. I I am excited. You got uh, beginning of June, right? Is yeah, arm fight unleashed. Yeah. So big Maddie. From New Zealand, who's really you know you know Big Matty, you see that he looks like uh, the guy the uh, who's that? He's in that Disney movie. Yeah, Maui. Um, yeah, Mau. Is it? Anyways, Moana. Yeah. The Moana, movie Moana. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and the the like the god of the ocean. Is that what it is? Yeah, Maui. Anyways, yeah, so this disc. So so this Maddie, god is in a match. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Against uh, another bigger god. Yes. <laughs> and this guy that he's going to be pulling, nobody knows him yet. Is it the same God that was protecting that cathedral in France? Um, I think that that... Or is that just not too political? That, that too cathedral <laughs> was, was not being protected. I don't think it was. No, there's no God. Sorry, let's go back to your match. I, I went off topic. Marcus Atirai. He's like 155 kilos lean. He's coming, come from an MMA background. Devin. And I'll tell you that if this dude starts training for arm wrestling, he will very quickly be extremely relevant. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. He's, yeah, stupid strong. So. Stupid strong. That's a compliment. <laughs> yeah. If yeah. he's that big and he's that strong, that's a compliment. No. Yeah. But that one, that'll happen in June, uh, early June. I haven't got a date yet, but early June. Um, that's going to be, that's going to be good. We got... Big things happening down there. So, are you? Um, do you know how to play? Are, no, when are you fly, when are you flying out? I fly home or oh, from from after bottom mate. I drive. Oh, I'll end up down with John Brzezink for, for three or four days, and then fly home on like the first of May. Now, okay. So after the bottom mate, is that you're leaving? You're flying from Syracuse on Syracuse to on on Sunday or yeah, on Sunday? On, okay, on Sunday. Okay, so. I mean, a bottom eight contestant, Jonathan Lava, who we're seeing pressing his yeah. workmates. I'll get a lift with him to the airport, but Lava is looking strong. He is looking strong. He is, he's looking strong. He's looking lean. For, like Lava lean. Lava lean. Who you got between Lava <laughs> and uh, Spy? I'm, I'm changing my vote. You going with Lava? Yeah. I'm, I'm, Lava's done enough to change my vote. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. Me no. too. Artem, you're done. Yeah. <laughs> you're done. I got you, Artem. <laughs> Artem's been riding confidence a little too arrogantly as well. I, I think he underestimates Lava and he's not actually taking the guy seriously. And Lava is, is like, he's been like, no, he's I'm in, I'm in, I'm he's, winning breast, he's pushing yeah. guys around at work. Huh? Yeah, I think he's ready. You both have like Russian accents. You should be more sympathetic to... Russian accent. Well, your accent's crazy <laughs> like his. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. I still think uh, the real dark horse in the whole in this whole event is Beaver Pumper. Like, <laughs> I think he's the guy <laughs> who can maybe, would be the least favorite maybe, to win. Yes, no, that's me, my dark horse. Easily the best factor about this whole tournament is the fact that it goes in both directions. All right, all who's winner, gonna win the Kingston Open afterwards? And that's freedom, yeah, freedom. freedom. Freedom style. And what what are the weight categories? You got uh, a 190 pound, I think, you, I think what is it, 160, 190 open, and no. I think it's a 200 and open left hand, so it's 
Let's just talk about the open class. Mm. Let's just talk about the open. That's all that matters. Right, Brandon Lemon Mullen hey, Brandon. Hill is de- declaring it already. Grip is showing up. Yes, mm-hmm. I I saw that. Uh, Brandon Smack Grippler right now. I think so. Mm. Uh, I don't know. I'm guessing. Anybody else coming? Uh, Evan will pull. Probably. Maybe. I'll pull. Probably. Yeah. Craig will probably pull. Yeah. Craig's gonna cry. In, in freedom. Yes. Yeah. No, Craig will cry after oh. Evan. Big deal. Quick. <laughs> Craig will. Cry. Now that I have money on this match, illegal gambling. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, Evan's Evan's gonna make Craig quit. I think. You know what? I just made somebody quit. I saw that. <laughs> I, I can't believe we skimmed over that whole thing. That's really the only thing people the people don't give a shit about the bottom eight, really, as much as sure they, they care do. about. Uh, sure they care. As much as they care about Todd Hutchings and your match with him. Yeah. Mm. Why don't we just kind of go over that a bit? What were, first, yeah, what yeah, were your yeah. opinion on that? Yeah, that's a bit. I, I was I was there at Eyeline. My eyes were down to talk about that very so first. So you saw uh, the first pin. I would call it if I was refing. I would call that as being. And it, I would have called it, like, very first search. It was quick. No one expected it to be that quick. We all thought grind. But it was a pin. So it's 1-0 Todd Hutchins. The, the battle that happened in the first round probably would have happened then in the second round. Devin probably would have won 3-1, in my opinion, anyway. So I think the right man went, went on. But it would have been nice to see the theater of that first pin call. I talked... So... I thought that he did pin me. I thought he did. It felt like a pin to me. Um, I was I was waiting for the stop, and it never happened. So I was like, okay, all right, well, I'm not stopping. Nope. No. Um, but um, but I asked the refs afterwards. I was like, uh, like. And they said no. They said they were right there. They said they were on it. They said they replayed the video, uh, and they said it was very close. But they said no part from here to here broke. So, I mean, you do have to bury. I I'll tell you, I thought it was a pin, um, but mm. anyways, either way, either way, it, it, I don't. I honestly don't think it really matters. It really, I mean, it, it probably would have put more pressure on me, but after I kind of felt it, I didn't really know exactly where everything was round one. I think once I kind of felt it, then I, I kind of got a feel. The interesting thing was with Todd, he, he's super strong. He's crazy strong in his groove. Uh, but the interesting thing was is when I broke into the King's move with him, uh, he wasn't, he just wasn't tall enough to press mm. it. Like, because he, it was totally there. Like, when we got the stop, and, and I don't care if you want to talk about the first one that was or wasn't a pin, or the mm. second one, which definitely wasn't a pin, but it was low. Um, the lane was certainly there for him to come forward and push. And uh, and he didn't. And, and I could feel that he just... Just he's just not tall enough to do it, so that was interesting to me. I because I, I I'd heard that he had no flop press, but right. when it was that low, I thought he's gonna do it. Like surely that's what I thought. It. I was I was like, you got to do it right now. Yeah. I'm like I was feeling, and I was like, okay, if if he flops, I'm in some. I'm gonna have to go off the back. Yeah. But um, yeah, he couldn't. He could, for whatever reason he didn't. Yeah. Yeah. We haven't spoke about this yet, actually, so I, I haven't heard any of your opinions yeah. on it. In match two, at the very mm. beginning of match two, where you stepped him in yeah. the shoulder, got the cup, yeah. it looks like, okay, you stopped him dead to rights yeah. in the center of the table, mm. you're in your former wheelhouse, I don't know if it still is or not, but I think yeah. it still probably is, Yeah. and then you kind of uh, stepped back and rolled uh-huh. uh, more into the king's move. Yeah. Why did you make that move? Was your elbow not holding up? Was your bicep not holding up? Oh, Why um, did you do that? Were you so- playing? No, no, I'm not playing. Uh, so I wanted to test my hook when with him. I I felt like the two spots that I was definitely in the game with Todd was uh, my hand was able to take his hand at a cost of arm position. Okay, so I was able to break his wrist back at some point somewhere. 
Um, and I also felt that I could get a really nice shoulder angle to press them. Um, but uh, yeah, the hook, hook for hook, I think that he was tighter when he was, you know, when he, when he had gas in him, like he, he had a good hook. Like we settled and I was just trying to hold and it was opening a bit. So I was just like, okay, I could have maybe come forward, but I didn't really want to. It's going to be a long season. Um, so. Cause previously in a lot of your matches, you got that defensive hook. You were at one time known as to have maybe one of the best defensive hooks mm. in the game. Yeah. But back then I didn't have that Kings move option. Right. Didn't have so it. I was wondering if you thought, if you had to dig down and stay in that hook, yeah, any idea but, what would happen? Yeah, I mean, the thing is, is as you arm wrestle more and more, like you just realize that you got choices. Right. And mm -hmm. so when my hook started to get tested, I could have doubled down maybe, mm -hmm. but when you double down and double down and double down, then you get surgery at some point. <laughs> Whereas you double down, you start to feel uncomfortable. If you have another choice, which you know is like anatomically more um, friendly, smooth, then you take it. Yeah, I don't, I'm just asking. <laughs> right. I'm right. not the whole internet. Uh, for it. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure people want to know about yeah. this for a while yeah. on why the kings move. You know, here's here's an interesting thing. Okay, that I. I'm going to be talking about this, I think, for probably the next 15 years, you know, trying to educate people on why it's okay. Uh, and this is just the beginning, and a lot of people are going to be, a lot of people knock it, but arm wrestling is about pinning your opponents, okay? And, and the way you measure success is by winning mm. and losing. And mm. as soon as you start to put anything more than those simple criteria into your evaluation of the subject, then you're biased. And let me tell you, in this era, under this current rule sets, it's not wise to top roll uh, outside of a strap without dragging. Like strap pulling nowadays is so much about the drag. And if you're going to be outside, it looks like a king's move. It's a very powerful move. It's super powerful. You think bringing two inches to the front of the pad would change that? Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I think that we screwed up a little bit by going the one way and not the other. Because I feel like the 7x7 seven seven with the distances we have them mm. are a great solution for 90% of the population. It yeah. sounds like it's evolving into the freedom. Let's get Listen, it. I'm telling you, like, I know, I know that that's the answer. Not to segue into your... I know the freedom <laughs> is the future, but we can get there yeah. step by step. I'm really looking forward to the Kingston Open, the freedom. It's going to be component. great. I've never done it before, so... Yeah. It'll be, it'll be good. As a professional, as a professional, I, so much, you know, in my mind, before I go to that table, I tell myself that I would rather have an injury than walk away with a loss. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, when I go to that table and I'm defending a title or I'm going after something, if I don't walk away with, with a broken arm, <laughs> I feel like I've, I, I didn't try hard enough, you know? Um, and... I know that, you know, this is not probably the right mentality for amateur arm wrestling, but when you see guys, you know, you know, pulling in super matches or whatever uh, at, in these pro leagues, the whole uh, dangerous position foul to me is just a ridiculous concept to enforce on any athlete. So that means I don't care, like, if you're Jerry Cataret and you're redlining like this, I'm never going to call that. Or if you're a dude in a king's move who's hyperextending, I'm never going to call that because as a guy who's that committed in the sport, you have the right to expose yourself of course. to death. Yeah. If you want to die for arm wrestling, you can. <laughs> 
I mean, fair play, play, right? Right. Right. So that's why my soul is at peace. You have a soul? No. <laughs> no, but somewhere it's at peace out there, wherever, you know, whoever's holding on to it now. Mm. Yeah. There you go. Well, it was good. It was a good night. It was it was good being in that front row seat. I like everyone needs to go to a WL a live event and see that sort of stuff up close because good atmosphere. And Todd Hutchins, where he goes from here, hopefully it's back to get a get a hammer against uh, R V J. R V J. My friend. Yeah. Just a bit I, I think I think that's you know what I, what I know now about both those guys because I've. I've never competed with Rob, but I've watched him really closely, and I've, I've trained with him a lot, and, you know, I've watched them pull so often, and, you know, now that I've actually had a good feel of um, Hutchings, I, I think that it is a very interesting match, in, mm. in, in, uh, and, it, and it's an interesting match, uh, really, uh, when you talk about what arm wrestling is. Right, like how you define arm wrestling, because RVJ is really like RVJ is evolving, but RVJ is one of these guys who's really, uh, really gifted, and he and he came and from uh, a place where he looks at arm wrestling a certain way. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like he doesn't really believe in the strap. He, he's mm. learning about it, yes. but he thinks that, you know, people who run to the strap are... Uh, afraid. Right, and, and, and this, is, this, is, uh, this is definitely an interesting viewpoint, right? And it, has, and it definitely has merit. Hutchings is totally different puller inside and outside the strap. Mm. Where is he more dangerous? In. In the strap every day. Way more dangerous. Um, now, so it's interesting how close they call it. And, he, and another thing is RVJ walks around at like 205, 210. Well, what did you weigh in at? Oh, like 260. You really did? I'm full. I'm like... Did big. you really weigh in that? Because Dom said you're like 240-something. Yeah, I'm normally 240-something. 240, 240, 245 is like me, like, I'll be 245 tomorrow. Yeah. So you put 18 pounds on in a day? Yeah. Pretty much. You should have seen all these guys eating. You can, you if you want, we can eating. have a comment. I can put on 20 pounds in a day. <laughs> I, to give you a perspective on what I saw of Todd, Todd was putting olive oil, pouring olive oil into his protein shake in the morning just to get the extra calories. Like Right before I stepped on the scale, mm -hmm. I chugged a couple of liters. Like, I'm, I'm as massive as I can be for those weights. Like two kilos. And yeah. So Todd's bloated version was, was 245 or something 246, like that. 246, I think. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but I mean, we're in clothes. We've got our shoes on. Like, right. Like, yeah. anyways. Um, yeah, I'm like, com my competition weight is probably close to 255. Yeah. All arms. Yeah, yeah, all arms. <laughs> yeah. Triceps, too. Yeah, a lot of triceps. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Wrap it up or what? Bottom mate? It's coming mm -hmm. up. Let's get it done. Yeah. Yeah. Hope RVJ and. Hutchings do. Yeah, well, you got a problem with RVJ? No. <laughs> it seems like I do, but I don't. I like Rob. Okay. All right. Just had to make sure. We were, we were starting to wonder. Said all sorts we, of stuff. We were, were saying we were, we said all sorts of stuff on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> People uh. take offense to that. Where are you going? You shut it off now. Let's see where the good stuff happens. The good stuff? Yeah, we're still rolling. We're about to talk shit about it. still rolling. People. Well, I don't think anybody wants to hear that. No. You want to talk shit about somebody? I talk, like Rob. Talk shit about Joel Griffin. Well, we'll, we'll fix that. You better shut the camera off now. All right. See you at the bottom, mate. Yes, that's a bit. <laughs> <laughs>